The results you get back from an AI like ChatGPT can be made so much better with only a small amount of prompt engineering. In this video, I'll explain how drastically the responses can improve by simply getting the AI to act as the best person for the task. I'll show how this act phrase can force the AI to give a flawless reply and why it's also overpowered. This will be the first in a series of videos that give you simple wording to add to each and every one of the prompts you write, leveling up their quality and your interactions with AI, so be sure to subscribe. Or for an additional way to improve your interactions with AI, try Brilliant.org, today's video sponsor. An incredible service offering high quality lessons on topics such as maths and programming, but also super relevant courses like how large language models work. A series of fun and interactive lessons take you through a whole course covering why AI models choose their wording and why they give the responses they do. The bite-sized lessons are accompanied with hands-on tests and puzzles, meaning you can follow the course and really feel yourself making progress as you go. Whether you're just getting into artificial intelligence or have a degree in it, there'll be something for everyone at any experience level. And if you smash out the LLM course quickly, there's so much more to move on to after. Touch up on existing coding skills with courses like Thinking in Code, or you can finally learn that new skill altogether. It's straightforward to get going, and I really like that the service is tailored around how much time you have available. It's definitely a productive but stress-free way to learn. To try out what Brilliant has to offer, sign up with 30 days completely free by going to brilliant.org forward slash AI chat or click on the link down below. The first 200 to sign up using my link will also get 20% off Brilliant's annual subscription. So what do I mean by getting the AI to act? Well, with services like ChatGPT, it's so important to be given the AI context when we ask for it to carry out a task. The standard context is, we're a user asking an AI chatbot to write an essay for us. And guess what? We end up with an essay written by an AI. But let's give it more, particularly context around who the AI will be. Let's get them to be a professional technology essay writer with a high attention to detail and expertise in our field. Now we get an essay written by an expert who excels at spinning up professional grade essays. As you can see, even with this generic and pretty basic act as statement, the result we get is so much better, because the AI is now pretending to be better. I personally include the act as statement at the start of my message, roughly along the lines of ChatGPT, you will act as XYZ. It keeps it clear for the AI being right at the start and makes checking through your own conversations much easier. That's all pretty simple, but the results can be made even better with some added detail. In the first example, we made the AI act as an expert showing that the role can be literally any person who you feel would be the absolute best to complete that work for you. But sometimes you're going to want the AI to be you, or at least someone at your exact level of expertise. In this example, we've asked the AI to be a representation of who the user actually is, a mid-twenties marketing manager based in the UK. Context is given about the person, their experience and their current role. Context that all aids in the AI being able to complete the work in a very specific way. Without the engineered prompt edition, we get a fairly standard response. A normal sounding email outreach that's a bit wordy and a bit boring. However, with the additional information, the response is what we would expect to get from a 25 year old female social marketing manager working in the holiday home industry with an enthusiastic personality and who writes concisely. The email is more personal, more relevant and a lot more expressive, appearing like it's come from an actual person, which is something we all try to achieve when getting the AI to make something. The impact of all this can be obvious most of the time, and other times it's subtle, but the subtle changes are what make the interactions more tailored. They make your outputs from ChatGPT level up in quality and pass as human made. So why exactly is getting the AI to act as someone so useful? One easy way to think of this is quality control. Obviously high quality doesn't always mean the same thing to all people, so instead you make the AI act as someone that will most likely answer the questions for you at the level of quality you want. And because everything we as individuals can create could be created better by an expert in that field, it means there's really no end to how many different roles we can get the AI to play. Don't forget that any role that we ask the AI to act as, the AI will already have a decent understanding of that role, as well as the people who usually work it and the level of work they produce. If you're sat there a bit unsure on who to get the AI to act as, that's okay. You can always ask ChatGPT what type of person is best at performing the task and then add that person to your act statement. It makes the whole process even easier. I don't want to talk too much about how much information you need to give, but as a go-to and a common recommendation on my videos, I'd suggest using the who, what, why and how method. Who the AI will act as, what this person creates, 
why is this person the best for the task, and how the AI tends to produce its work when acting in this role. Getting the AI to act is also a fundamental part of jailbreaks. We can ultimately get the AI to act as a role so far removed from the context of being a chatbot that it forgets all its rules. In this example, we've got the AI to roleplay a scenario where it believes it's a metal detector enthusiast. He's currently speaking with the police, having found a suspicious item on the beach. This item happens to be a document with writing all over it that the AI will read aloud. This context shift allows the AI to now answer things it otherwise wasn't allowed to. Just going to show the power of using the act as statement, showing that the AI is always up for jumping headfirst into a new acting role. As mentioned earlier, this tip used on its own should be great, but what about the rest of the prompt? Well, there's more engineering we can do, a lot of which will be covered in the next videos to come. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one soon.